Well, ketogenic diets uh, work remarkably well for type 2 diabetics. Uh, and type 2 diabetes is associated with insulin resistance. And, you know, currently in the United States, we have about 14, 15 percent of the adult population with diabetes. And so that's 30 some million people. And it's uh, an enormously devastating disease, both personally and, and also just economically. We, we spend $240 billion today managing diabetes. And it's really a disease of carbohydrate intolerance. If you're insulin resistant, um, by definition, you don't metabolize carbohydrates in a healthy way. And, and the, you know, the irony or really the, the unfortunate truth is we recommend diabetics consume over half their calories from carbohydrate. And that requires they take more medication in order to manage that income in carbohydrate. So it really is insane in, in many ways. Um, and, and there's emerging evidence now. Uh, we've actually had a lot of good evidence in the past, but there's even stronger now evidence that shows a well-formulated ketogenic diet counteracts insulin resistance and can actually put diabetes into remission so they have no signs or symptoms of the disease. In other words, we're normalizing their blood sugars, we're normalizing their hemoglobin A1C values, and they have more energy, they, uh, they're satiated. And the other really important point about all this is this occurs while they're getting off medication, not taking more medication. So they're getting off medication and they're losing a lot of weight in the process usually. And that's in direct contrast to trying to control blood sugar with medication where you typically see weight gain. So this is an incredibly powerful tool for type 2 diabetes. Now type 1 is a very different disease where it's associated with insulin insufficiency or where, where you often still have to provide some insulin but we're learning the diet works remarkably well in type 1 diabetics as well. Uh, it has to be a little more carefully managed because there will always be some insulin required for the type 1 diabetic, but it can often be dramatically reduced and it's just must, much easier to manage the condition in a, you know, with a ketogenic diet.